You know I'm huge into emulation and portability, and if you've been on my channel for a while, you've seen me recommend devices like the GPDXD Plus or the PSP Go. Both of them are very capable emulation machines you can take with you anywhere you go. They're always right there in your pocket, ready- Oh, I almost broke the thing! Let's try that again ready to play. But some people have reminded me that I have this problem where I forget that to a lot of people these are relatively expensive. Not everybody who follows my channel lives in the States or in Canada. So these things represent a significant investment especially when you consider that a lot of these people already have right there in their pockets. Maybe it's what you're using to watch this video. Something that is already very well capable of emulation except it lacks physical buttons. Well I think we could change that. So let's take a look at this Bluetooth controller for your smartphone. Is it worth the money? Let's take a look. Alright, so right here, let's move these things. I made a mess here. So right here we have, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. It's a Chinese brand. Uh, I've heard IPiga. Epiga, um, let me know in the comments what you think this, uh, how this is supposed to be pronounced. This is an extendable Bluetooth controller where you can fit your phone here. In the picture they have what seems to be an iPhone, and I think in the box here they even say, yeah, they say right here, this product is a wireless retractable controller which supports different Android and PC games compatible with Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, Android TV, uh, Android TV box, Android TV, and etc. Uh, right here on this side here, as you can see on the Chinese side, it actually says iOS, Android slash iOS. So let's find out. I need I need a knife. All right, let's open this up. Uh, where do I begin here? Right how about oh, okay, this side is already. Oh, they they did a really good job at. Uh, oh wait a second, there's only one thing here. I was looking at the wrong side entirely. Let's bust this sucker open. I don't want to mess up the box too much because I'm gonna do this exact same video in my main channel. It's gonna be like they're gonna think that I'm unboxing for them for the first time. Shh. All right, so here we go. In here, I'm excited to try this actually. In here we have the. Have we decided on a name? How do we pronounce this? Ipega. Okay, so we have a little box here with some accessories. Let's see what we got. Get this nice little frame here. Let's see what we got here in the box. We got a little strap, a little carrying strap. We got a micro USB cable here for charging, obviously, and that's it. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Here it is, the controller. Let's pull it out. Okay, ooh, I like this. Okay, uh, it extends here, as you can see. Now, one thing I don't like right off the bat is that when it extends, it's somewhat malleable here. It doesn't seem like it would break easily or anything like that. Just, I didn't expect this flex. Um, okay, so extends all the way out here. I'm gonna put my iPhone 10 here. Let's see what it... Yeah, there we go. It extends really nicely. So here we go. Let's try... Okay, okay, I like this. I like how it feels. The analogs click. Okay, they're true analogs. They're not like little... Like with a PSP or a 3DS. It's not really a true analog. It's more of like a thumbstick. I've gotten used to it, but it's not what games really should feel like when you're playing with them. This, on the other hand, actual Analog sticks, look at that. Really nice. Decent range, look at that. They click? I like that, didn't expect that. It's common for these portable uh, things that have analogs to not click, like the GPDXD doesn't click. We got the trigger buttons here. Clicky. Don't feel too cheap. I feel pretty decent, especially considering this thing is 20 bucks. Again, this flex here, I'm not sure what to make of it. I'm gonna show in the back here. It flexes a little bit. I'm not sure if this is. I'm not sure if this is to like for it not to be so rigid, uh, but it's, it feels pretty solid. Okay, let's let's actually try this with a game. Let's try here. Um, let's see here. Let's go with the. Uh, actually, we gotta connect this thing first. So, where's the instruction manual? Let's go back here. I pride myself in uh, on, on never needing an instruction manual for these things. They're usually pretty simple to set up. Let's see here. Thanks for purchasing iPega Develop Red Knight Bluetooth controller. That's the PG9087. That's the model name. How do I? There's a QR code here. It does work with iOS, clearly, as you can see here. It does work with iOS. Nice. Although with iOS, you're not going to be able to emulate as easily as you can with Android. So there's that. So um, I'm going to just try it. <laughs> I don't often need to read. Okay, so there's a on and off. Okay, on and off. 
All right, I turned it on. Oh, press and hold the X and the home button for two seconds. X and the home button, I like so. Oh, here we go, okay. Oh wow, it lights up and everything. Okay, I did not expect it to be this nice. Wow, okay, real cool. All right, so let's now, and I think we're good. We're connected, okay, so, so, let's see here. Let's go right back into my PS1 emulator. Let's extend that like so. Okay, fits nicely there. Let's get all this stuff out of the frame. My God, what a mess. Here we go. Okay, so this is what it looks like, okay. Okay, yes, restore game. And let's see. Oh my God, look at that, let me turn it up, let me turn it up. Oh wow, I'm not sure why I'm so surprised. This is exactly what I should have expected, but for some reason, oh wow, okay, here we go, here we go. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh man. Okay, okay, I'm really happy with this. Oh wow. Oh my god, okay, I, I suck. <laughs> I should probably turn this down. I might get the copyright strike. Okay, 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 here we go. Okay, let's go back in there. Okay, and let's do one of these. This game was my specialty when I was a kid. Not really, but you know. Okay, how about that? That, that, that I made it look like it was my specialty. Whoa, flawless. Oh my goodness, dude, look at this thing. It lights up and everything. This is so nice. And you can actually, I guess, I'm not sure why you'd want to do that, but you can actually, let me prop this up here. Okay, how about this? I'm doing this so lo-fi, it's crazy. Okay, you could do this too if you want to. I mean, not sure why you would, but uh, yeah, I suck. I suck when I try like this. Let's go back to kind of more like a, wow, okay, I like this. Here we go. Wow, look at this, look at this thing. Okay, what if, what if uh, you want, let's, let's Super Nintendo it up. Let's go into my Super Nintendo emulator. Here we go, oh, okay, but, but, I don't want this overlay here with all this stuff showing up. So let's actually turn all of that off. Okay, here we go. Now, now, okay, now we're talking. Uh, I should probably turn down the brightness a bit so that it doesn't blow up my uh, my exposure here on the camera here. How about this? There we go. Okay, okay. Okay, back, 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 go back. Here we go. So now we have Super Mario World, one of my favorite games of all time, and you're playing it on your phone with con physical controls the way it was meant to be played. Here we go. All right, all right, here we go. Oh. See, I'm, I'm playing through the viewfinder on the camera, and this is not a good way to play. Okay, now, as you can see, the buttons are inverted. It seems that this... Oh, yeah, because this is a different layout than uh, what the Super Nintendo uh, works with. So, we have X here where Y should be, Y where X should be, B where A should be, A where B should be. So, you have to actually go into the settings here. I'm not, I'm not sure which button will bring up the settings. This is a turbo button. This is a home. This is... Huh, now... Because I just oh here we go I, I had disabled the, uh, the the touch controls so we're gonna go into settings controller one uh, I guess button mappings right here 987 so the A button should actually be what's labeled as the B button the B should be the A button for the Super Nintendo that's what you have so X would be up here the Y would be here L would be this R would be this here we go oh my goodness yes yeah baby oh no 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 what are you thinking what what do you think you're doing Screw you, buddy. I got this. Get out of here. I'm not noticing a lot of input lag. You can check it out in the video and pay attention to when I press the button and the action actually happens. With Bluetooth controllers, especially the cheaper ones, it is common to experience a little bit of input lag. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. But I am not noticing a lot of it. I'm not sure if you can tell any of that from watching the video. But yeah, this is the iPega 9087 Bluetooth controller. It extends to fit cell phones and it extends quite far. Let me, let me do this again. It goes, it goes all the way out here. So like, I feel like I could put my, my iPad mini on this thing. Like it goes all the way like this. I could put like, I think I could fit. Should I do this? Am I gonna break this thing? I don't wanna break it. Yeah, it does. I can actually, <laughs> I don't know why anybody would do this. <laughs> okay, that's a little crazy. But I can actually play like this. This is ridiculous, but it works! And the GPDXD Plus has Bluetooth support, so I could do this. 
for some dumb reason. Anyways, this was sent to me by the good folks over at GearBest.com. They're a Chinese retailer. They sent me a bunch of products to review. Usually I review these mostly on my main channel, but if you guys want to see more products like this on this channel, let me know in the comments. I have a lot of stuff that I could review for you guys here. I'm just not sure if you, this is something you guys care about. Let me turn this off. Dude, I like that it, it lights up and everything. Like this is more than what I expected out of a $20 Bluetooth controller. Like I like, I like this quite a bit. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell to get notifications. Just follow me on social media. I'm very active over there. I love hearing back from you guys. And that's all the time I have for today. I'm Izzy and I'm done.